Hello YouTube, and as you know, earlier today I posted a video telling people to leave a comment on what video they would like to see me make. And I got a couple responses, but the video I'm making right now is this one by ASDFHEFHUENXOFLKF. The other day I was trying to get Homebrew Channel on my way and the apps at the same time but I couldn't figure, find a tutorial vid that did both please help coincidentally the other day I was going to get homebrew channel so I had the same problem but now I know what to do so I'm gonna show you guys okay so a few things you're gonna need before you start you're gonna need an SD card SD card reader, I have one built into my laptop. You're gonna need a, a Wii and some sort of internet connection. You're ready to go. Alright, now that you have everything you need, let's go ahead and open up our web browser and go to rebrew.org. Don't do.com because you will go to this weird dumb site. Now you're going to want to scroll down until you see this banner bomb. Go ahead and click on it. And then over here on the links, click download. I'm going to add the links into the description, so if you don't want to do this, just wait and look for the links in the description. Click. Okay, the first file we're going to need is this right here. So click it. You can save it. But since it's a zip file, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And I'm just going to drag it right onto my desktop. For now, before I put it into the SD menu. Now that you have the private folder, let's go back to the web browser. Now you're going to want to go to hackme.com this is a little hard to navigate through this site to get the next file so it really would just be easier to go ahead and look in the description for it we're going to scroll down until we see this bootme.org we're going to click download right here the installer I'm just I'm going to go ahead and open it again this is a little confusing so make sure you pay attention what I do here open up the installer this boot.elf you want to rename to boot dot dull this is very important if you don't do it it won't work now go ahead and drag that out also and it changed its name Go ahead and open your web browser and again and put this link in. The link is in the description. And go ahead and start your download. Just open the file. And get a better pop up blocker. Open this thing. And all you need is this installer.law. That's all you need out of here. So after you have that, just go ahead and close these things. And now, open up your SD card. Now your SD card does not need to be blank. If it doesn't work and it's not blank, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't have to be blank. Now that all your files are on, we're going to go ahead and put it into the Wii. Okay, now that you have all the files on your SD card, 
You're going to want to eject it. Then you're going to want to go ahead and stick it in your wing. Now click wing. Make sure you do not click the SD card menu. It will cause your wing to freeze. Click data management. Channels. Then click SD card. This thing is going to pop up. You're going to want to push yes. And it's going to go ahead and install it. Then you're going to push one to continue. When it pops up. Now you're going to push continue. You're going to go up to this top and install the homebrew channel. Now after that installs, just exit. After you get back to your regular lease screen, find your homebrew channel and click on it. Go ahead and start it. It's going to load the files off your SD card. As you can see, there's no files. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get files on your SD card. Hello YouTube. Now that you have the Homebrew channel, go ahead and click right down here to get the Homebrew browser so you can get apps on your Wii for free. Thank you. And click this. Alright, bye.